It is playoff time for the Houston Dynamo, and they kick off the 2011 postseason on the road this afternoon, taking on the Philadelphia Union. Kickoff coming up just after 4 o'clock right here on the 9-5-0. The Dynamo and the Philadelphia Union squaring off. Here's the format in the Eastern Conference semifinals. Two games, one this afternoon and one Thursday night at Robertson Stadium. The most total goals in the series advances. It's aggregate scoring. And the Dynamo have been hot. Seven wins, only two losses, and four ties since late July. Philadelphia, in that same time span, three wins, four losses, and eight ties. So they have been not awful, but not picking up a whole lot of wins. And the Dynamo would like to deny the Union a win at home today. Ball comes in from Davis. Good ball toward the penalty spot. Headed into the net. Houston takes the lead in the fifth minute. Andrew Haino scored here last year. He scores here again. And boy, are the Dynamo pumped in front of the Sons of Ben. Brad Davis set it up again. And I believe it was Andrew Haino flying through who got his head on it. What a ball in by Brad Davis. And what a start to this playoff series. Danny Cruz still getting checked out, so the Dynamo are playing with 10. Danny Cruz wants to go back in, but of course with head injuries, it's wise to be very careful, and the Dynamo are doing that. Philadelphia coming out in a modified 5-3-2, and the Dynamo really having to adjust, and Danny Cruz just got the okay and went back in. But it's very interesting. Melia Ronzi is playing center back. Here goes Philadelphia up the gut. Shot is chipped in, deflected toward the two. He ties the game. He was onside, and it's all level right away. The pass into the box was deflected, and it fell right to Sebastian Latou, who finished with his left foot. What a start to the playoffs. That's why I actually feel like the Dynamo might have a better chance to win today's game in case Philadelphia goes forward later in the game. Latou and Haino were being really physical there, but the ball goes the other way. Ching with it for Houston. Tried to slip one through. Ching found Kalen Carr. Kalen Carr puts it away for Houston, and the Dynamo go up 2-1 in the first 30 minutes. What a long road back for Kalen Carr. And the Dynamo celebrate in the corner again. Brian Ching with a visionary little chipped through ball. And Kalen Carr, the forgotten man much of the year, with a simple finish inside the right-hand post. Huge goal for the Dynamo. Carr won the initial header, got it to Ching inside. And his vision to play a left-footed pass into the path of Carr was a huge play. So Houston up 2-1, that goal coming in the 30th minute, and now the Dynamo need to make sure that they hold this lead into the half. Pressure is on. Latou fires it, knocked down by Houston in the box, still loose, still loose, not cleared, knocked wide by Mwanga, the Dynamo catch a break. Mwanga, wide open look inside of the penalty spot, but he scuffed it and it had to come off of what looked like his heel and go spinning wide. I didn't see what blocked the original shot by Latou. We get a look at the replay. Might have been a handball. Here's the delivery by Torres. He's shooting. Tally Hall with a stop. He tipped it wide. Oh, Tally Hall's coming up big tonight. 84th minute, Houston 2, Philadelphia 1. Passed forward, Davis won it, looking for Bruin. Bruin, a great job to shield Valdez. Plays it backward to Ash, who goes backward to Cameron. Nice play by Bruin. Cameron goes long. Bruin is onside on the left. He's got Costly in the box. Will Bruin still going? Plays it across. It was behind. Costly missed it high. That would have put it away, this game at least, and the Dynamo weren't clinical enough in the final third. That was their chance to seal a win on the road. Now Philadelphia goes the other way. Long ball headed up by Boswell. 
Ash tried to head it out, but it falls to Adu on the right flank. He's left-footed. Cuts to his left. Chips one into the box, looking for McInerney. His header hits the crossbar. Boswell heads it out of play. Dynamo caught a break there as the header hit the crossbar in the 88th minute. Michael Farfan with space 30 yards from goal. Plays it to McInerney on the right. Slide tackle by Cameron. Great tackle. Great tackle. And Cameron is yelling at McInerney for diving. That was a phenomenal tackle. He got all ball. Brad Davis wearing the captain's armband. Gets Cameron away. It's a throw in. Philadelphia takes it short to Torres. Torres middle of the field. Torres going to shoot. It's deflected. Held by Hall one more time. I've got Tally Hall with 10 saves, and I might be conservative here. It's a corner to Philly. Got about 20, 30 seconds left. Corners from the right. Torres to take this one. We're at four minutes of stoppage time. Fans on their feet. Here's the corner. Back post of the six. Headed up, but not out. Hano knocks it away. They still haven't blown the whistle yet. Philadelphia plays it back in. Onside, Hall held it at the last second. Tally Hall with the save, and Houston with the win. Two to one on the road. Their first ever road playoff victory, and what a performance from Tally Hall to win this one two to one. The Dynamo owned the first half. They survived the second half, and they win two to one. Davis to deliver toward the penalty spot. Singh is there. Brian Singh got it. Robertson Stadium comes to life through their main man, the captain, Brian Singh. On a Brad Davis cross, that's the Dynamo's bread and butter. There it is. Win number 100 in Dynamo history is a playoff victory that sends Houston to a fourth conference final in six seasons. It's a one nothing shutout. It's a sweep of the series, and it is a memorable, memorable goodbye to Robertson Stadium, courtesy of Brad Davis and the main man in Houston, Brian Ching. His header before halftime, the difference in this game, and the Dynamo win the series by a solid two goals. Welcome in to Livestrong Sporting Park in Kansas City for the 2011 Eastern Conference Championship game between the Houston Dynamo and Sporting Kansas City. The top two teams in the Eastern Conference during the regular season will battle it out today. The winner going to the MLS Cup two weeks from today in Southern California. We just had the national anthem, some pyrotechnics to go along with it, and the fans, almost all of them clad in sporting blue, but a hearty few in dynamo orange. Cameron running up the gut to Davis. Davis with neat control, got it away to Ash. Davis went down, took a hard kick from Zussi. He's not happy about it. Davis is still down. And the dynamo with the ball saying kick it out brad davis down near the center circle and of all people to get hurt brad davis down near the center circle you don't see him stay down unless there's something wrong and this is a very worrisome sight for the dynamo houston's players around mark geiger saying how can there be no foul there because zussi stepped on him was what it looked like from here we got to look at the replay, and I don't think there's any foul there. I think Davis, Davis' foot caught in the turf, and that's the scariest part of it. He's holding his right quad, which seems to be difficult to injure in that kind of tackle. 37th minute, no score. Davis still down, and... It, there and end signaling Dynamo are going to have to make a change. Brad Davis is out. And that is so scary for this team. I don't know.
know enough medical facts to be able to speculate, but Brad Davis can't put any weight on his right leg as he's helped off here. And this is probably going to be the end of Brad Davis's 2011 season. What a blow. What a blow to the Dynamo's hopes. Not only of winning today, but of winning MLS Cup, seeing Brad Davis, a league MVP candidate, come out of the game. And so it's going to be Jermaine Taylor coming in for Brad Davis in the 39th minute. Can they get one here and put Kansas City on its heels? Moffitt, the only man standing over the ball. Dynamo have the big targets up. Here's Moffitt's delivery. Going back post, looking for Ching. It's headed loose on the line. Knocked in by Hano. Houston's in front. The Dynamo score from a set piece. Andrew Hano tapped it in on the goal line. And Houston's in front on the road. Adam Moffitt's delivery ends up in the back of the net. And Andrew Hano denied a goal in the conference final two years ago. Has one now, and he has the Dynamo in front. Looks like Taylor's shot was saved. And Hano got on the end of the rebound. Jermaine Taylor with a header. Nielsen saved the first shot. And Hano tapped in the rebound, and Houston leads this game one to nothing. What a huge goal for Houston. It goes without saying the first goal in this conference final, a crucial one. Now, how deep will the Dynamo sit trying to defend this, and how will Kansas City play it? There's Camargo with a steal, feeds Ching. He's got Ash off to the races on the left. Here goes Corey Ash. Ash to the top of the area, plays it across, looking for Camargo. Luis Camargo! is denied by Beasler and Nielsen. He had the game on his foot. He had the game on his foot, and he tried to dribble it in. And Kansas City defended it. Oh, that was it for Houston. That was the chance Luis Camargo, after a great pass by Ash, tried to run the ball into the net. And it would have been 2-0 Houston. Oh, what a call that would have been. I can't believe the Dynamo didn't put that one away. Crowd on its feet. Beasler long ball. Boswell heads away in the direction of Cruz. Cruz square to Camargo. He has Cruz to the right corner. Plays it up the middle to Costley. Costley's onside. Carlo Costley. Costley to finish it off. Carlo Costley got it. The Dynamo are going to the MLS Cup final. Carlo Costley in the 87th minute. That's going to do it. Houston's going to win the Eastern Conference Championship. Costley put through on a breakaway. He's going to get a yellow card for taking off his jersey, but who cares? Camargo played it through, and Carlo Costley finished off the post. What a finish by Costly. He hammered it. And the Dynamo lead 2 0. Zussi from the right corner plays it in near post, headed out by Costly. Falls to Arno. Arno chance from distance low. Saved by Tally Hall, diving to his right. And that is going to do it. Houston has won the Eastern Conference Championship and is going back to the MLS Cup Final for the third time in six years. On the road, without their MVP, the Dynamo pull off a shutout. They have won another must-win game, four straight road wins, and Houston is going to Southern California in two weeks to try for a third title. Dominic Kinnear... And the Dynamo celebrating this one. What a night for Houston in Kansas City. They win it two to nothing and they win the Eastern Conference Championship. Goals from Andrew Hano and Carlo Costley.
giving the Dynamo this championship and sending them to their third MLS Cup final in just six seasons. What a road. In July, you never would have thought this possible. When the Dynamo lost to Chivas USA 3-0 on July 23rd, how far they have come. 10-2-4 in their last 16 games, 4-0 in their last four road games, and they win the conference title on the road. The commissioner of Major League Soccer, Don Garber, gets ready to present the Eastern Conference Championship trophy to Brian Shing and the Dynamo. Celebrating after this one, the supporters and fans still cheering in the corner. And it's going to be a long, fun night in Kansas City. I can guarantee you that. We can't hear anything of what's going on, but Don Garber has the trophy. Brian Ching has the trophy. The Dynamo have the Eastern Conference Championship. They are going to L.A. in two weeks to play for the title. It has been a long road back to Major League Soccer's promised land for the Houston Dynamo. They were back-to-back -back MLS Cup champions in 2006 and 2007. They had playoff heartbreak in 2008 and 2009 and missed the playoffs for the first time in 2010. This year, 2011, has seen the Dynamo rebuild, retool, and reload all the way to the Major League Soccer championship game. They've been on a phenomenal hot streak with skill, grit, and, of course, plenty of heart and late theatrics. Tonight, the Dynamo take to North American Soccer's biggest stage against a heavily favored opponent, hoping to complete their improbable journey back to the top of Major League Soccer. It's the Houston Dynamo and the L.A. Galaxy in the MLS Cup Final coming up on Sports Talk 790. Good evening, everybody. Back in Houston, Jonathan Yardley and Glenn Davis with you in Southern California. What a night for soccer in the United States and for soccer in these two cities. We're just about set to go. The Galaxy standing over the ball, getting ready to kick off with Robbie Keane and Landon Donovan. They're still clearing a few streamers. And the Dynamo stretching out in their half of the field to our right, the south end. There's the whistle. We are underway from the Home Depot Center with MLS Cup 2011. The Dynamo in orange and white. And the LA Galaxy in all right. Right away, Kalen Carr hustling around the ball, but LA has it at the back. Knocked it down in the direction of Moffitt. He goes forward, costly chases De La Garza toward the Houston bench. De La Garza upfield with the left. Beckham with a header into the path of Keane. Boswell's there. Keane got away from him for a second. Keane, middle of the field, plays it to Donovan. Landon Donovan's shot is in for L.A. What a moment for Landon Donovan with a terrific finish after the pass by Robbie Keane. Tally Hall got a hand to it but couldn't keep it out. Well, you know, Bobby Boswell had been getting the better of Robbie Keane. He got a bit isolated. But that's why Bruce Arena now is going to look like a genius, because he got Landon Donovan into an extended position up front. And that little burst of speed and that little outside of the foot touch could possibly be the difference now with 19 minutes left. Here goes Beckham over the wall. What a save by Hall to keep it a 1-0 game. That's your likely MLS Cup MVP, David Beckham, I would, I would think potentially here on his swan song. L.A. restarts and earns another corner kick. That's what you call going into the beast of the belly over there. Or the belly of the beast. And that's full time. L.A. has won the MLS Cup with a 1-0 win over the Dynamo, completing an unbeaten home season. And the L.A. Galaxy will go down as one of the best teams in MLS history after the win tonight on the 72nd-minute goal from Landon Donovan. And the Dynamo's amazing, improbable run comes to a disheartening end on a Sunday night in California.
And Phil Anschutz, who's normally very shy from uh, being out there in public, is out there with Landon Donovan. A great moment for the LA Galaxy on this night. They complete a wire-to-wire -wire run as the best team in Major League Soccer. Supporter Shield winners during the regular season. Now the MLS Cup champion. They also advanced in the CONCACAF Champions League. An amazing year for LA. And uh, they're going to be partying tonight here on the West Coast. Once again, the final score tonight, the Dynamo come up short in the MLS Cup final. The LA Galaxy won, the Houston Dynamo nothing. I'm Jonathan Yardley saying good night and thank you from Los Angeles.